good morning today again we are here to continue the lesson physical fitness wellness and lifestyle in this chapter we have discussed about the components of physical wellness so now we are discussing the components of physical fitness in which strength speed endurance flexibility and coordination five components are there from which strength we have discussed in previous video so i will just revise that part strength then we will come to the next component so the strength is the ability of the muscles to overcome resistance it facilitate the ability to resist disease and it affect organic efficiency it is the amount of force a muscle or muscle group can exert it is achieved by voluntary muscles contraction specific type of strength is required in specific type of sports strength is divided into two types dynamic strength and static strength this we have discussed in previous video also in detail so the static strength the strength is called isometric strength in which the muscles exert the force on the stable position in one position without any movement and in this the muscles act against resistance this type of strength is not seen directly in sports but in some sports it is applied in phases in static strength as we have discussed that static strength when the strength is applied by the muscles the movement of muscles cannot be seen directly so here we have some slides we can see then static strength is being applied in the static strength the work done cannot be seen and work is not visible because of no displacement is there and the muscles are exerting the strength so there is no movement of body and muscles can be seen so dynamic strength dynamic strength is also called isotonic strength because it is related to the movement which is clearly visible dynamic strength is of diminishing tendency in which muscles refuse to work after some time cannot work for longer time in each sports movement strength appears in different forms which are maximum strength explosive strength and strength endurance these are the type of dynamic strength which is maximum used in sports we can see the isotonic and isometric strength how the muscles are exerting the force so in this we can see same tension changing length in isotonic we can see that muscles are changing same length and changing in tension no movement can be seen in isometric even contracting or even relaxing so this is all about the strength we will come to the next component that is speed speed now we will discuss because that part is strength we have discussed so just we have revised so the speed is the ability of body to move in faster rate 
this is the ability of the body to move in faster rate a variety of movements are required in various sports activities so what is the speed this is the ability of the body to move in faster rate so we are very well aware about the speed there are various running events are there various sports and games where the speed is required movement is required so the rate of movement is known as speed so we will move to the next slide the component of physical education physical fitness <coughs> the speed is the ability or the capacity of an individual to perform a movement of the same pattern at faster rate this is the ability or the capacity of an individual to perform a movement of same pattern at faster rate whatever movement is required in the sports and games that is performed in the faster rate the same pattern of movement is performed in faster rate is known as speed as that i have told you that is the speed is the rate of movement different sports skills require different type of fast movement and quick reaction along with the speed we need the quick reaction also we will discuss further speed depends on the hereditary factor especially on type of muscle fiber one has speed is depend on type of muscle fiber what kind of muscle fiber the person have muscle fibers are there but the number of muscle fiber if the number of muscle fiber is more the specific type of muscle fibers are more so then speed will be good so the thing is rem to remember here the speed is the rate of movement then we will see the speed there are two type of muscle fiber which we are discussing here there are two type of muscle fibers first is fast twist muscle fiber and slow twist muscle fiber in previous slide we have discussed that they are the specific type of muscle fibers are responsible for the speed so the number of muscle fibers more in number so then definitely the speed will be good so there are two type of muscle fiber these are in our body but number can differ due to genetically heredity and due to other factors also which we will discuss afterward so fast twist muscle fiber we will discuss now fast twist muscle fiber fast twist muscle fibers provide bigger and more powerful force so they are providing more powerful force but for shorter duration and fatigue quickly means these muscle fibers are responsible for responsible for providing the powerful force bigger force but short duration of time and they get tired quickly when the muscles are providing force quickly powerful force quickly so then it means then muscles will get tired also quick so fatigue comes quickly then they are more anaerobic with less blood supply these muscles are more anaerobic anaerobic means they can work in the condition of insufficient oxygen supply anaerobic activities when there is the oxygen supply is not sufficient so they are more anaerobic with less blood supply hence they are sometimes preferred to as white muscle fibers that's why these are also called the white muscle fibers because of less blood supply is there in these muscles 
then fast twisted muscle muscle fiber contract quickly and produce maximum force this is the property of these muscle fiber fast twisted muscle fiber these muscle fibers contract quickly and produce maximum force so these muscle fibers are giving power exerting power quickly the fast twist muscle fiber we have studied slow twist muscle fiber now slow twist muscle fiber of fatigue resistance means they delay the tiredness and focus on sustain they sustain the activities for longer duration as fast twist muscle fibers were working for short time duration these muscle fiber can work for longer duration slow twist muscle fibers and smaller movement the force which is the um, is applied is smaller and they are focused for longer duration and fatigue resistance they contain more mitochondria and are aerobic in nature they are aerobic in nature means they work in the sufficient oxygen supply and they have more mitochondria are there in these cells of these muscle fibers slow twist muscle fibers are also sometime called red muscle fibers because of their blood supply they have more blood supply that's why they are known as red muscle fibers slow twist muscle fibers contract slowly and produce less force they contract slowly and produce less force as we have discussed that fast muscle fibers twist muscle fibers are contracting quickly and producing maximum force slow twist muscle fibers are contracting slowly and producing less force so this depends upon the speed depends upon this type of the muscle fibers which the person has now there are following type of speed these can also these are also known as the phases of the speed these type of speeds are reaction time speed of movement acceleration ability speed endurance and locomotive ability these five type of speeds are there which we will study now in detail reaction time the reaction time the ability of the body or body muscles to react quickly to the stimuli or signals or situation in order to perform action in speed means the muscle or the body is performing any action in speed by reacting towards the stimuli signal or situation in situation how much quickly you react it depends on the microseconds hundredth part of the microseconds if you are late if reacting so then we can fail in the activity so that reaction time is very important each for type of speed is very very important so reaction time is first in which how quickly we are reacting towards the stimuli signal or situation like one example i can give you simple example in badminton how quickly you are hitting the shuttle 
for sms and how quickly you are returning it if you are late little bit for returning this mess so then you will lose one point or we can lose the match also so that depends how quickly we are reacting toward the situation toward the signal toward the stimuli in the cricket the first ball is coming towards the batsman and at the same time when the ball is near the player the batsman has to react to hit it or to leave it so that reaction the quick reaction makes us winner if we are late so definitely we can lose so the reaction time is this is the reaction time which is very very significant type of speed i think the reaction time is now clear to you how quickly we are reacting toward the situation in the activity in the sports everywhere we will move to the next type speed of movement this is the ability of body muscles to move in faster rate to perform the particular movement for a specific time the speed of movement is ability of the body muscles to move in faster rate to perform the particular movement for a specific time for how much time with which speed which rate we are moving and what type of movement for which time duration we are performing to perform the action so that is known as the speed of movement like in hockey we are hitting the ball if we are hitting the ball definitely the we are the movement of hand with the stick hockey stick so that movement for the time duration distance between the ball and hand so that movement will decide that how faster rate we are performing the action so this is the muscle move in faster rate the body moves in faster rate to perform the particular movement for specific time duration so speed of movement is i think clear then we are moving to the next one this is acceleration ability the ability of the body or body muscles to increase the speed quickly or increase the rate of movement quickly according to the need acceleration like we are riding scooters motorbikes cars so acceleration decides the speed how much we are accelerating so this is acceleration ability how much we are accelerating because the muscles have ability of moving in faster rate maybe different different individual so quickly we cannot reach to the peak we cannot perform the movement in highest rate initially after some time after speed of movement that we have discussed previous so we can understand it more easily after speed of movement we can accelerate the speed that is the acceleration ability so acceleration ability means then how quickly we are 
accelerating so the ability of the body or body muscles to increase the speed quickly or rate of movement according to the need so like sprint races are there various examples are there in which maximum speed is required running activities and other sports activities also football hockey cricket so acceleration ability when we are running the ability of body to accelerate the motion quickly when required so what is the acceleration acceleration the ability of the body to accelerate the motion quickly when required like i have given you example of the simple example of the vehicles in vehicles we are cars we are pressing the accelerator so then accordingly the speed increased in motor bikes and scooters we accelerate we give acceleration by the hand and then gradually the speed increases so the same thing is here in the body in the body we do not have any acceleration point where we can accelerate and the speed can increase but the muscles perform this action by the contraction and relaxation the skeletal muscles help in acceleration gradually they increase the speed so this is the acceleration ability i think this is very simple to understand sprint races are there like 100 meter race is there so the person has to run very fast but he cannot run very fast from starting in between he has to accelerate the speed to the maximum short distance races the acceleration ability is highly required the acceleration ability decides the winner in case of the sprint and the short distance races how quickly we are accelerating the maximum speed how quickly we are reaching to the maximum speed the maximum ability of the muscles to move in faster rate if the body is able to accelerate the maximum speed quickly so then it will decide the winner next we will move to the speed endurance speed endurance is the ability of body or muscles to maintain the desired speed for specific time duration whatever the speed is there it is maximum below maximum average whatever the speed is there or slow whatever the speed that speed is maintained for certain time duration that is known as speed endurance the ability of the muscle or body to maintain this desired speed for specific time duration especially for long time duration that is known as the speed endurance speed endurance we can understand this is by made up of two words speed plus endurance where we are maintaining the speed sustaining the speed for certain time duration it is the combination of speed and endurance to perform good in speed activities without any fatigue to perform good in speed activities without tiredness so these are the this is the speed endurance it is maybe i think it is clear very clear that speed plus endurance where we are maintaining the maximum speed or whatever the speed is there not definitely maximum whatever the speed if we are maintaining it for certain time duration that is known as speed endurance like marathon cross country and long uh, duration activities in these activities the speed endurance is highly required now we will move to the next one 
third is known as the locomotive ability locomotive ability this is a physical action that propel an individual from one place to another this may mean moving forward backward even upward using certain skills means locomotive locomotion how we are shifting from one place to another this is the displacement ability of the body how muscles are displacing the body from one place to another and how quickly it is displacing that is locomotive ability because the sports are performed by the various type of locomotive abilities we cannot play anything by standing on one place especially on the outdoor game activities so the locomotive ability decides about the how the quickly the person is displacing its position forward backward upward sideward so that is locomotive ability locomotive ability locomotive word is from locomotion locomotion means displacing the body from one place to another place moving from one place to another that is the locomotion so locomotive ability is decides about the person that is the muscle the action that propel an individual from one place to another forward backward even upward using certain skills so examples are there like walking running jumping hooping so these are the activities everything every sports activity the locomotive ab ability is highly required so locomotive ability is the displacement of the body we can see the walking is there so this is all about the speed we have discussed today one component of the physical fitness strength we have discussed speed we have discussed so in detail it is very easy to understand then what is speed what are its type and how it is utilized in sports activities and so next we will come to the endurance in next video